Hey guys, don't mind my very messy hair today, but I thought I was going to have another little chat, because why not? It's the sort of thing I do every now and again, and it's fun to do every now and again. And I am going to tell you guys about the regulars on my train to work. Now there's a few different regulars on my train to work and you know when you go to work every day you get to see the same sort of people who go to work at the same time and you kind of get to know them in a way you don't obviously speak to them and you don't know their names and you don't really know them but you feel as though you know them and you get a sort of unspoken connection with them you sort of like have a sort of a non-spoken conversation if that makes any sense like if they miss the train you're like oh man you sort of look at them as if to say oh damn and then if you miss the train and they're on the train they're like oh man why did you help me out but um <laughs> so i decided i would name my train regulars and i already put these on twitter and i thought it was just so hilarious i tweeted about it all morning on one morning on my way to work because it takes me an hour to get to work so it's a long journey so <laughs> I get bored and I, I name people on the train so one one of them I kind of his name changes all the time at the minute I don't know it's kind of like bumbling carrot patch or something like that I don't know it's some sort of play on words to do with Benedict Cumberbatch because he looks kind of like him like he doesn't really look like him but looks kind of similar in a way so I just keep changing his name every now and again to make it somehow sound a little bit like Benedict Cumberbatch and it's just hilarious to me <laughs> uh, there's another one there's one with like there's a guy with really long hair and a trench coat so he's just long hair trench coat guy such an unoriginal name of course there's one uh, oh god if people ever see <laughs> if they ever see this video um, I don't think they will. <laughs> it's kind of like a secret-ish channel. Kind of. Um, but yeah, there's another the one. It's a woman. And I call her Midlife Glamorous because she looks about 50-ish. But she looks really, like, glam. She like, has her hair all nice and stuff and wears really, like, trendy clothes. It's pretty cool. And so she's, uh, she's Midlife gram <laughs> Glamorous. Glamorous. I can't even speak. But the last one I have named. It's like the one I tweet about all the time. Well, not all the time, but quite a bit of the time. And um, and it is Hot Goth Gym Guy. <laughs> Though I kind of shortened it to just Gym um, Goth Gym Guy for now. Um, and that's just really because one of my work colleagues follows me on Twitter and also sees him but doesn't think he's very attractive. So I get kind of embarrassed if I would call him Hot Goth Gym Guy. And she would be like, you think it's hot? But yeah, that's... And that's another story. Um, <laughs> basically, it's this guy, and he's kind of good looking. At least I think so, anyway. I think he's pretty good looking. And um, he, <laughs> he has black hair, eyeliner, glasses, which glasses always make my heart go, and tattoos and stuff. So that's where the whole goth thing comes from. But he wears a t shirt, tracks with bottoms, he never wears a coat, he's always just dressed for the gym. So this goth gym guy. <laughs> it's just it's just quite funny because he never sits down, he always stands up and never wears a coat, even in the middle of winter. I am shivering all the time and he is just in t shirt all the time. I don't know where why if he's warm or not, is he even alive? Is he a vampire? I don't know, he could be. Um but I always, it started off, um, I started m moving, like there's different carriages on the train obviously and there's some carriages that get busier than the others and I like to get a seat because it's a long journey. So I started moving up further down the train to see if there was any better carriages to sit in and I found a carriage that was great, I could get a seat every time and this guy was on the train every single day, I started to notice him and I thought, hang on, he's a, he's a bit good looking, I kind of like him. And I started noticing him more and more, and it just, it's there every day. And I cannot help it. He probably thinks I'm stalking him now. I'm not. I just like that carriage because I get a seat. Like, even if he's not there, I still go on that carriage. Even if I'm not going to work and I'm just going on that train uh, to see my boyfriend or something, uh, I still go on that carriage because it's like the best one for a seat. Um, but, but still, I just. 
I can't help but just enjoy a little bit of, you know, eye candy on the train to work. Gotta keep myself occupied somehow. <laughs> it's just, it's just funny to me. It's just funny to me. It's a little bit strange, to be fair. He is a little bit of a strange person. He sort of stretches around and flexes his arms a bit. He's quite muscular. Going to the gym and stuff, I'm assuming he would be. I assume he's going to the gym. He's dressed for the gym. He's got a massive gym bag. But yeah. <laughs> so that's my... It's my train regulars, and um, I don't always see the other ones, like the other, the other three I mentioned. And there is other regulars as well that I see every now and again, but I haven't named them because they're not... I can't think of names for them, actually. I might have to think of some names. <laughs> but, um, but, goth gym guy, man. I see him nearly every day. It's crazy. And, um... Today, the trains were all messed up and I had to get a bus. And it took me, like, far too long to get into work. And I'm not going to go into it because it, it was the most terrible journey in the world. And um, and the bus took, like, 45 minutes. I, I got into work, like, an hour and 20 minutes later than usual. I got into work at 10 and I leave the house at half 7. Terrible. Anyway, it takes me an hour to get to work normally, not two and hours and 20 minutes or something. Um... So I had to get a replacement bus. And there was a huge queue for the bus, and when the bus finally arrived, I got on, managed to get a seat. And you wouldn't, you would believe who else is on this bus, but one, or none other than this goth gym guy. And I was like, oh my god, because I was in the worst mood. I had been pa so panicky trying to find this bus, and um, and seeing him there, I was like, yeah, it cheered me up. It cheered me up. It was such a trivial thing. And I was just like, oh my. God, it's like my old work journey again. Um, so yeah, that was fun. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm allowed to find people attractive like that, even if I have a boyfriend. Because I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna pursue anything. And this job is only temporary, so when I'm finished, I probably won't ever see him again unless I get another job in the city where I work right now. <laughs> But it's nice just to have a little bit of excitement on the w way to work every now and again. And I thought I would share that. 